Assalamu alaikum welcome to Soul Sisters Delightful Food Kitchen Today I'll be showing you a very easy and quick starter that is Russian kebab and the best part is I'm going to show you the veg way and the non-veg way of making this Russian kebab So firstly you need mashed potatoes these are boiled and then mashed Next you need carrot and capsicum These are cut in two cubes as you can see See the capsicum this is also cut into cubes next you need chicken this is boneless chicken boiled in uh, ginger garlic paste and salt and then shredded as you can see next you need uh, chopped green chilies this is optional if you are making this for kids just uh, avoid this these are the only ingredients you need apart from this you need salt and oil so let's start making it kindly note that for a measurement of each ingredient see the description box below this video so firstly heat oil in a wok few tablespoons of oil once it is heated add carrot and capsicum finely chopped add all of this mix it with the oil once you have mixed this well with the oil just saute it for a few minutes until it is slightly soft do not overcook this after 3 to 5 minutes of the flame as this has become soft see the color has not changed because i have not overcooked it now uh, keep this aside to cool now take the mashed potatoes and add uh, salt to it according to your taste and mix it well after mixing the salt add carrot and capsicum to this mix this well with the potatoes while mixing also add the green chilies chopped and mix it again mix it until it combines well i have mixed the capsicum and, uh, and carrot with the mashed potatoes as you can see uh, i have made two portions of it this is for the veg uh, russian kebab and this is for the non veg to this i'll be adding shredded chicken and this is going to be as it is so add the chicken to this and mix it well i have mixed the shredded chicken to this so non veg and veg this is all both ready now i'm going to shape them into a kebab just take little portion of this and make round shape of this first make a ball and then press it slightly make sure it doesn't break from any side make a good round shape of this this is how you make it place it in a plate one by one 
so as you can see i have shaped uh, the non veg russian kebab as well as the veg russian kebab now i'm going to deep fry them for the coating of russian kebab you need this sieve or vermicelli this is brown in color you should crush it and uh, you need a uh, beaten egg this will be the coating for non veg uh, russian kebab first i'll dip in egg then i'll coat it with uh, brown sieve and for the veg i have made a paste of all purpose flour here mixed with water i'm going to dip in this and then with the brown sieve so for deep frying the kebab uh, just heat oil in a wok and then i'm going to make the veg ones here i go i'm going to dip it with the all purpose flour paste be careful the veg ones are very soft so coat it nicely as you can see then dip it in the sieve just cover it from all sides this way and then slowly release it in the oil repeat this for all the veg ones turn it around as you can see just turn it and cook from both the sides well once it is uh, slightly brown from both the sides take it out on an absorbent paper or a tissue paper you can put 5 uh, to 6 uh, kebabs at a time for the non veg kebab dip it in uh, beaten egg first and coat it all with all the sides once it is coated dip it in the uh, sieve just put the sieve from each side coat it well should be covered from all sides release it again in the oil do this with all the non veg kebabs once it is cooked from one side turn it around and cook from the other side as you can see this one is uh, brown from both the sides so i'll take it out on my absorbent paper so the veg uh, russian kebab and non veg russian kebab are ready as you can see it's ready for plating so keep it in different plates because it looks similar so the veg and non veg uh, russian kebabs are ready the veg and non veg russian kebabs are ready thank you so much for watching the video subscribe our channel and like our facebook page like our videos and try our recipes i'm sure you're going to love all of them and thank you